Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. In today's video I'm going to be answering a few questions that people have sent in on Instagram. If you're not following me on Instagram already, make sure you go and check it out on screen now, at Grinding Gears Official. So for the past couple of weeks I've been asking people to send in questions. Um, I've had this idea of going out and doing a little bit of a drive and answering them. So my girlfriend Chelsea is going to read them out to me and I'm going to give you as honest answers as I can. Right. Why do people think Mark 7 Fiestas are cool? So I've got a friend with a Mark 7 Fiesta, um, so I can't say too much because he'll give in to me. Um, but I like the EcoBoost versions, um, some of them are pretty cool, um, especially the S model. Um, I think you can make them look pretty good. Uh, but yeah, other than that, I'm not really a fan because um, the standard ones are just a bit boring for me. So. How much would all your mods cost and how do you learn to fit them? Well, uh, <laughs> So I'm planning on doing a video in a couple of weeks time where I just go through all the mods. I want to wait till the current mods are out of the way. Um, so yeah, I think I've, I've sort of totaled it up this morning. I've had a look at these questions. Um, and I think so far I'm at about £1,300, um, including the recent mods. Um, but as I said, I'm doing a video. So in a few weeks time, I'll have the video posted. So go and check it out for a full breakdown. How do you learn to fit all your mods? Learning to fit my mods. Um, pretty much YouTube or having a go um, you know obviously I make these videos but just as much I watch videos to try and learn new skills so repairing cars I pick up from watching YouTube videos and also you know um, reading manuals and reading different guides online um, it's all yeah it's all research I've never I'm sort of self-taught I've got no official qualifications or anything like that I just have a go pretty much Worst job you've done on a car? Uh, worst job I've done on a car has got to be a power steering pump on a Mini. Um, I've done three now. Um, so yeah, that, that, that's a really hard job. Obviously I do everything on my back, on the drive. On a hoist, a power steering pump probably wouldn't be too bad because you could drop the subframe. Uh, but I was contending with the subframe on the floor, so with very little space, um, you've got to take the power steering pump over the subframe and pull it out. It's quite difficult to do, and it took me a good few hours. We got it done in the end, and the sense of achievement afterwards was brilliant. If you could choose one car to drive for the rest of your life, what would it be? Is this Owen? Yeah. Okay. So I know in the question he said that I'm allowed to modify the car. Um, so. What I'd do, I'd go for a Nissan Stadia um, and yeah, I'd, I'd put the R34 front end on it. Um, it's one of my favourite cars, it's practical, it's fast um, and it looks absolutely brilliant. Um, although they are very, very hard to get hold of in the UK especially. Um, and even if you can get hold of them, you best be digging deep. Why the f*** can no one drive in Birmingham? Yeah. <laughs> so for those that don't know, I was born in Birmingham and I lived there till the age of 18 when I moved to Shrewsbury. Um, yeah, no one in Birmingham can drive um, and that still rings true to this day. We went back to pick up some car parts a little while ago and still no one can drive. Um, everyone pulls out on you, everyone just beeps at you for like two hours after you've done something. Um, everyone just seems to drive really angry. Um, and then you come back to Shrewsbury where I live now and everyone can, can actually drive and, and whatever else. Um, but yeah, uh, no one can drive in Birmingham and when you do go there, you have to adapt your driving style to deal with all the other assholes on the road pretty much. doing on your car? So for weekly checks that you should be doing on your car, um, I recommend checking your oil, checking your coolant, windscreen washer fluid, um, and just going around and checking all your tyres and lights just once a week. If you want to see a video where I did that, go and check it out on the iCard um, and you can go and watch it. What was the main inspiration that got you interested in cars? Um, getting into cars was mainly uh, watching all the Mighty Car Mods videos. Um, you know, I watched them from when I was about 10 onwards um, and it just made me really want to work on cars, Re really got me into the car scene. I was never really huge into it when I was younger, I was never really sort of into cars or anything like that. Um, I was more into sort of diggers and tractors but watching the Mighty Car Mods videos really got me interested in cars. Um, and then when I sort of moved up to Shrewsbury, made a lot of new friends up here who were all into cars 
um, it was a uh, it was a given that I was going to get into the car scene. How and where did you get the mini from? So my MOT was coming up for renewal on my old mini. I had a mini one um, R50. Uh, the MOT was coming up and it was definitely going to fail. There was a lot of different things on it. It's going to have to spend a lot of money to get it back on the road properly. Earlier that year, or literally a couple of months before, I'd actually crashed that mini. Um, not, not, you know, I wasn't at fault or anything like that. Um, it was on a sort of single track um, road down in Cornwall um, and there was a little sort of tuk tuk van coming flying down a little road um, and he was doing at least sort of 50, 60 um, and this road was that sort of small and tight and also it was up at like a 20% incline um, I was doing probably about 15, 20 miles an hour um, and this van come flying around a blind corner um, and it was either go head on into the van or stick it in a bush so obviously I chose putting it in the bush only trouble is um, in Cornwall they have something called Cornish hedges um, which are known to not be hedges and are actually walls um, and I actually hit one of the walls um, and had to have the front left hand side of the car rebuilt um, so that I could obviously get home which involved a new strut a new control arm uh, I had to have a new tyre um, and the, the bills ended up at about £700 um, and then I sold it for £300 about a month later um, but anyway back onto the question um, so I got the Mini from uh, Bristol my good friend Dylan gave us a lift down there thank you um, and yeah I paid £1,350 for it uh, nothing wrong it had 11 months MOT on it um, and yeah, it's yeah, it, it was brilliant. We got there about 10, 10 o'clock at night. It was pitch black. It was raining. It was cold. Um, so took the car for a really quick test drive, and I was happy. I'd actually insured the car before I'd left the house in Shrewsbury um, because don't I was I don't, definitely don't advise doing that because it could, there could be something wrong with the car. But I I knew I wanted it. Um, so I'd insured it before I'd already even left Shrewsbury. Um, but yeah, drove that back uh, late at night at this point, about like, you know, 11 o'clock at night. And it was absolutely brilliant. Um, and we uh, we got home quite quickly. Uh, <laughs> um, so yeah, got it from Bristol, uh, 1,350 pound, and I actually found it on eBay. If you had to keep one of your cars, which would it be and why? Um, I think no matter what, I'm going to have to keep the Mini. Uh, I've wanted the Legacy for like six odd years. Um, ever since Mighty Car Mod sort of did their first videos with Super Gramps, I've, I've always wanted one. Um, I mean, my, my ambition with this car is not to, to make it like Super Gramps because it's already been done, so it'd be boring. But um, I do love it, but I think the Mini is, is my one true love. Um, and I don't think I could let go of it no matter what. So yeah, I'd have to keep the Mini. What do you think is the easiest mod to make your car look different? Uh, easiest mod to change the look of a car, something like Sunstrip or stickers. Um, they're sort of nice and easy to apply. And obviously if you decide later down the line you're not happy with them, you can just pull them off. Although if you do want a really nice looking sticker, head to www.grindinggears.uk and you can pick up one from there. Help support the channel um, so I can bring you more content and a different variety of content. So uh, yeah, go and check it out and uh, buy a sticker. Where's your favourite place to drive the Mini? Favourite place to drive the Mini is probably Lake Vernway. Um, we drove around there last November time um, to go on holiday. Uh, and yeah, re really nice area. I think once COVID's over, we're going to sort of head out there with the boys and we're going to go and, and have a drive around there because it's, uh, it is really nice. And it's nice on a bright sunny day. Um, you can park in front of the dam and if you sort of go down the road a little bit, you get a really nice photo of the cars. So I think we'll head out and do that in the summer. Um, we'll probably turn it into a video as well and get some cinematic shots. Um, but yeah, driving around Lake Burnway is probably my favourite place to drive. Which of your friend's car is your favourite? Oh. <laughs> um, so, which of my friend's car is my favourite? Um, 
that's really hard because they'll all hate me. <laughs> uh, I think I'm gonna have to say the rusty shitbox Lexus. Um, it's really good fun to drive, I've obviously driven it a few times. It does skids, um, you know, it, it's, it does burnouts, it's, uh, it's good fun. And it's one of them cars that you sort of don't mind sort of abusing it a little bit. Um, and yeah, I think I think that's probably my, my favorite car when you sort of take everything into account, um, including sort of what it looks like and what it's like to drive and stuff like that. Um, Owens is probably my favorite looking car. Um, but yeah, favorite car overall has gotta be Tyler's Lexus. If you'd like to see some videos on the Lexus, click on the iCard and I'll leave a link to the playlist uh, that we've got on the channel of all the videos that the Lexus features in. I love you, Fifi. What's something that annoys you about both your cars? Okay, so uh, something that annoys me about the Legacy is the window. Um, it's got an automatic, it's honestly the silliest thing ever, but it's an automatic window and if you push it down like that, right, to stop it, you press the up or you know you press down again and it just it just doesn't stop it puts it back up um, so that annoys me because if you only want to crack your window a little bit you can't do it or if you do you have to spend hours trying to get it to do it yes <laughs> it did it first time that time um, but yeah it's uh, that's the most annoying thing because obviously I don't want the window all the way down uh, which it was then I only want to crack it a little bit um, but yeah, that's the thing that annoys me about the Legacy the most, I reckon. And the Mini, um, I think... Potholes. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I think the thing that annoys me the most about the Mini is um, the suspension squeaking. Um, so I need to put new top hats on the rear, I think, and drop links. Um, but the suspension uh, squeaks and clunks a lot. Um, on the on the back of the mini um, and that annoys me just because it's annoying to listen to for a long period of time um, but yeah I think I think that's the, the the one thing that annoys me about the mini the most there is a few little little niggly bits but yeah that's probably the worst do you have any unpopular opinions on cars um, I'd say so yeah I don't like any of the new minis um, the Gen 1 Minis are the only ones I like um, and anything else after that looks horrible. Um, so yeah, I don't like them. Um, the GP3 was a big waste of time and... Um, you don't like French cars? I don't like French cars, yeah. That's that's probably, that's probably it. Don't like the new Minis and don't like French cars. Do you like Chelsea's car? Uh, yeah, I like Chelsea's car. She's got a Mini R51 in pearl white. Here's a photo. Um, there's also a link in the iCard to um, a playlist of uh, videos about her car. Um, so yeah, go check it out. Um, yeah, it, it's quite an interesting car. Obviously it's the same as the what my first Mini. Um, it's an R51. It's got a custom pearl white-ish paint job. Um, and I think it looks pretty cool. It also has a grinding gear sticker. <laughs> so yeah, thank you for watching this video. I thought I'd answer a few questions that I got on Instagram and Facebook. I do get a lot of questions trickling through on there, so I usually answer them you know, as and when they come through, but I thought I'd do a, a bulk video. Um, if you've got any more questions, message me on Instagram or drop them in the YouTube comments and I'll make sure to answer them. I answer every single comment, no matter what, so just leave something and I'll, uh, I'll give you some sort of reply. But yeah, we're out in the Legacy, if you're wondering. Obviously, the Mini's not up and running yet. Uh, it will be soon and there'll be an update video next week. So, thank you for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you might have learned something. Um, if you could hit the like button, I'd really appreciate it. Um, obviously, appreciate all the support, especially on the recent videos. It's been absolutely amazing. Um, make sure you hit the subscribe button to stay up to date with when I'm releasing new videos. Go and grab a sticker, www.grindinggears.uk, which supports the channel and allows me to bring more content and more cars. But other than that, take care, and I'll see you in the next one.